fillable uh, PDF form getting data from Excel. Now I got this uh, form I just found off the internet. I just PDF the uh, I googled PDF fillable forms and I got this sample here. So I have I have opened it and saved it yeah, onto my computer. Now I'm using PDF form, uh, not PDF form, uh, Foxit PDF Reader. Uh, Adobe Reader will not import data from Excel. You would have to use Adobe uh, Pro. So that's why I'm not using them. Just Foxit uh, PDF Reader is free. And this is the form. So I have to open Excel. I have to create a, a workbook. And I'm just going to call it PDF Fillable Sample. And it's a CSV file. That's how uh, it's a CSV file that gets transferred to um, to here. Okay, so I'm just gonna. So that's it. It's blank. I'm gonna save it, and I'm also gonna close it because it has to be closed for this to work. So let's go back to the reader. Now we're gonna make the map. So I'm just going to fill in some uh, data in here. Uh, I'm going to the west side. House number would be, I don't know, 22. And we have another one. Three, three, north side. We have a postcode. Well, this one's postcode because I don't know why. I'm, I'm in Canada, so um, G5T7Y6. And I am in Vancouver. Oh, I forgot I had the caps locked on for that postcode. Vancouver. And the country is, um, well, they don't have Canada in there, so let's just say I'm in Poland right now. My height is 179 centimeters. I have a driver's license, and I know all these languages. And my favorite color is gray. Ah, let's see, black, just a like my heart okay so now that all the fields are filled in I'm gonna go here top see we have form view no form is what we want we're gonna turn this form in and put all the data onto an existing sheet okay and that existing sheet will be, um, oh, I think it's right here. Yeah. I'm gonna, yes. So it now it's transferred all that data into there. And the data has to be in a row form. It can't. It can't be up and down. It has to go this way. Because uh, when it when the, program reads it, it, it reads this and then that. This and then that. Okay. And it also goes by the first letter, the first word here. So that is the sample. Let's make a just a copy of it. And this time my favorite color is blue. And I don't know what those languages were. Let's just take a look here. It goes uh, German, English. Well, I only know English. So I'm going to have all the other ones. So number two is the only one that um, I'll have filled in. 
So this could either be no or yes. So I'm just going to, or blank, I mean, sorry. Blank, blank. Number two is English. Blank is one. Is blank. And this time, this person does not have a driver's license. And really short, 132 centimeters. Okay, maybe it's a pro. from Canada and Toronto postal code would be whatever Toronto postal code is T T T 5 T 5 doesn't have a second address so I'm gonna leave it blank house number is 32 and he lives in the back street. Oh, I still have caps on it. And his name, her name, or his name is, last name was Purple Hair. So that's how we fill the data in. So what's going to happen is when we import it, it's going to go import these fields to whatever row we select here in the program. And I will show you just how that works. So first let's save it. Now again we have to close it or else it just won't work. Now let's go back here and we can reset the form okay now you see these ones are still open because they're defaulted I didn't do the I didn't do the form I just know it's defaulted that's why they're still there so now we're going to hit the import button and we're going to import from that file now watch what happens now we have two, two options we can pick we can pick Dave we can pick Sally Let's pick Sally this time. Imported, finished. And all that information now, purple hair, black street, pop, 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 is all in there. And she only knows English. And that's how it's done. Let's just do one more for an example. We have to open it. And we have to go like this. And now we've got Frank. Greer, I don't know where he is. And he street is in um, and Carabs. That's this old street I used to know. Um, one 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 one. Uh, doesn't have a second dress. S R R T six T. China. I don't know if that's how they say it, but height. Uh, who's that? Frank. Oh, he's a he's a big fella. He's two hundred and ten centimeters. He has a driver's license. Um, he only knows Deutsch, which is German. He doesn't know anything else. Oh wait, maybe he knows whatever that one was. And he likes red. Okay, so we will save it again. Close it. I, I just close it here because I, it's a lot. It opens a lot faster. Normally I close it all the way. So here, this time I'm not going to clear the form. I'm just going to import it just to show you the difference. Put it Frank Greer, Henry Greer, one one, ba -bum. He, he knows Deutsch and Latin. Ooh, and his favorite color is red. Good. 
have fun. <laughs>